Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this pineapple. You can use it as a charm or earrings or whatever you want. You can either make this one or you can make this one. <clears throat> I will show you in a different tutorial how to make this one. But I'm going to make this one. So you'll need some yellow and some green. So you're going to take one yellow and put it on that peg, right? Just like that. And then you're going to take <coughs> two bands, go from here to here, push it down, take two more, just like that. Then go just like this, going down, down again. All double banded. So we have one, two, three. And then take two more and go just like that. So from here into the center, make sure they're aligned. Okay, so push these down. You're going to do the same exact thing on this side. Just like this. Once again, grab two more. Go from here into the center and push this down. Now we're going to fill in the center. So take two and just go like this and go straight down. going to put it on your hook and wrap it around three times just like that and you're going to put it on I'll film a little bit closer right here just And now you're going to um, make your leaves. So you're going to do like what we just did. Take one band, wrap it around three times. And we're going to make three different ones. So take two and pull through like that. Pull two more through. So you have three pieces. Take two more and pull through. So you have four pieces. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna scoot it up on your hook and do the exact same thing, except you just do it one more time. Grab two and pull it through. So you have three and then two more like this. And then you're going to do it one more time because this is the middle one, so it'll be a bit higher than the others, so you have five. And scoot this one up two, and now you're gonna do it one more time, and you're gonna do it exactly like the first one. Three. Two. 
then you're going to do it one more time. So you have four. And now we're going to take this. And we're going to take the first one and put it right here. on this peg and then you're going to take your next one and put it in the middle and make sure your longest one goes in the middle and take your last one and put it right on this peg Put your hook in, go under your cap band, grab these two, and then you're going to go in again and grab the next two and go to the left, and then go in, and you probably guessed it, you go right over here. And go under like under these four bands. Grab the bottom two. Bring it to the next one. And then you're just gonna grab these two. Into onto the peg in front of it, and then take these two and put it right over the green ones. Push it down. Now go under the green and. Grab the two and bring it into the center. Push it down and then you're gonna go right here. Take the two and go down or up. Push it down and then do that on this side. Under the green, bring it to the center, and the green will stay. It will not come off. So the bone that you had dropped, you're gonna grab it. Oops. There we go. Going to grab it. and pull the other end and put it back on and then you're going to pull one loop through the other in other words slip knot it pull it and now you can just simply take it off so i would suggest using your hook so the bands don't snap I'm done. So if that happens, just fix it like that and keep it on your finger. And then you can just go like this and just take it off. However you want. And you can use it as a charm and leave it like this. Or if 
you're making earrings or whatever, you can just tuck this in or however. If you just want to have this in your room, you can tuck it in. Just kind of adjust this. So make sure you tuck it in. I'm just going to fix my little one bolt here. And here is your cute pineapple. So this is what it looks like when it's done. It's really cute. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please like and subscribe to my channel. And please, and just please in the comments say if you there's a certain charm or whatever you want me to make. So, see you in the next tutorial.